there, boys and girls. You have finally made it to your last lesson of our division chapter, lesson 2.9, problem solving using division. Our essential question is how can this strategy, draw a diagram, help you solve a division problem? Go ahead and turn in your goal math book to lesson 2.9 and we'll begin. So because our essential question is drawing a diagram, that's what we're going to do today. So let's look at question number one. It's already done for you. It says Dwayne has 12 times as many baseball cards as Tony. Between them, they have 208 baseball cards. How many baseball cards does each boy have? So the way that we set it up is you want to look at the question. We know that there's a boy named Dwayne, and we know that there's Tony. We know Dwayne has 12 times as many as Tony. So when you make your diagram, you're going to make 12 boxes because he has 12 times as many as Tony. You'll make one box for Tony and 12 boxes for Dwayne. Now it said that together they have 208 baseball cards. So what you need to do for this is we're going to say 208 divided by 13. And the reason why I have 13 is because we have 12 for Dwayne and one group for Tony. So it's 13 groups. So 208 divided by 13 is going to be 16 in each group. Now look at what it says. How many does each boy have? In this case, you would put 16 for Tony's box, and you would fill in each box for Dwayne as 16, and then you would multiply 16 times 12. And when you work out 16 times 12, you would get your answer. So Dwayne has 192 cards, and Tony has 16. We're going to do a couple practices together here, just so you can understand how. And tomorrow in class, we're going to do a lot of practices to get really good at this strategy. So let's go ahead and take a look at question two. I've already drawn the boxes for you on this video. Go ahead and make the boxes as we talk about them in your book. Question two says, Hallie has 10 times as many pages to read for her homework assignment as Janet. All together, they have to read 264 pages. So all together, it has to be 264 pages. How many pages does each girl have to read? So do me a favor, let's look and see what we know. We know Hallie has 10 times as many pages to read. So we need to make an H with 10 boxes to show Hallie. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 boxes for Hallie. And we're gonna make one box here for Janet. And I'll put a J next to Janet's box. Now, all together, they have 264 pages. How many does each girl have to read? So our equation is going to be 264 pages divided by how many groups? Well, how many boxes do we have? Hallie has 10 and Janet has 1. So that's going to be 11 groups that we'll make. Let's go ahead and divide together to find out how many goes in each box. Okay, I can't divide my hundreds, there's only two, so let's look at our tens. We have 26 tens, so I know I can put two for my tens, and they're each going to have two groups of ten. Two times eleven is twenty-two. Let's subtract, bring down my four ones. Now I'm going to divide my forty-four ones. Forty-four divided by eleven is going to be four. Four times eleven is forty. Four, and we're going to subtract to see if we have a remainder. There's no remainder. 24 makes sense. So let's go ahead in our box on our question and let's go ahead and write 24 for each of these boxes. Go ahead and write that now along with me. Now we're not done with our question yet. This is just setting it us up so we can actually answer our question. So now we know each one has 24 per box. We know Janet has read 24. That answer is done for us. But now our job is to figure out Hallie's total. We know Hallie read 10 times more than Janet. If Janet read 24 pages and Hallie read 10 times more than Janet, we would know that Hallie read 240 pages. And that actually makes sense. If I add up Hallie's total, which is 240, plus Janet's total, which is 24, I would get 264. And that's what my, pay, my question says. All together, they read 264 pages. So our answers make sense. 
So let's take a look at question three. It says Hank has 48 fish in his aquarium. So we know he has a total of 48 fish. He has 11 times as many tetras as guppies. How many of each type of fish does Hank have? So let's look at what we know. We know he has a total of 48 fish, and we know he has 11 times as many tetras as guppies. So we know tetras is going to be bigger because he has 11 times of that. So we know we're going to put G for guppies, make one box, and we're going to make a T for tetras, and we're going to make 11 boxes because he has 11 times as many as that. So go ahead and take your time and make a letter G and make a box, and make a letter T and make 11 boxes. Once you have that, we can begin. Altogether, it says that he has 48 fish. So over here off to the side, I'm going to make a little bracket, and I'm going to write 48. That just tells me that altogether he should have no more than 48. So what is my equation going to be? I know I have 48 total fish, but I'm going to divide it by how many? Well, let's look at our groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to divide 48 divided by 12. And if you know your multiples of 12, what should be the quotient for each box? If you said 4, you were correct, because 4 times 12 is 48. So what do we write in each box? The number 4. Go ahead and take your time and write 4 inside of each of the boxes that you've made. And then we can figure out the answer. What is it asking? How many of each type of fish does Hank have? I know he has four guppies and 11 groups of four would be 44 tetras. Does this make sense? It sure does because if we add our two totals together, 44 plus four does equal 48 total fish. All right, let's go on to question four. Now this one might seem a little bit harder because you have three different things that you're comparing, but don't worry about it. We're using the same strategy. Let's read the question. Kelly has four times as many songs on her music player as Lou. Tiffany has six times as many songs on her music player as Lou. Altogether, they have 682 songs on their music player. So how many songs does Kelly have? So let's look at what we know. So far we know Kelly has four times as many as Lou. So go ahead and make one box for Lou. This is going to be Lou's box and we're going to write the letter L next to it to signify Lou's box. We know Kelly has four times as many songs as Lou. Therefore we should make four boxes and put the letter K next to it to represent Kelly. The next one says Tiffany has six times as many as Lou. Remember, Lou is going to be the solo box, the one box, and we now have to make Tiffany a letter T, and we're going to have six boxes for her. So go ahead and make six boxes for Tiffany. Now we can start answering our question. Altogether, we know that there are 682 songs. How many songs does Kelly have? Well, first of all, we have to figure out how many do they all have to answer that question. So we're going to start off by dividing. How many boxes do you see? I can count one for Lou, four for Kelly, and six for Tiffany. Six plus four plus one is 11. So we're going to divide 682 divided by 11. So let's go ahead and start dividing. I can't divide my hundreds because there's only six, so let's break it into tens. I have 68 tens to divide by 11. I know 11 times 6 is 66. So let's multiply that together. 6 times 11 is 66. Let's subtract. I have 2. Now that is less than 11, so I'm doing great. Let's bring down my two ones. And we're going to divide again. 22 divided by 11 will be the quotient of 2. And now let's multiply to see if we have any remainders. 2 times 11 is 22. Let's subtract. No remainders at all. Therefore, 62 is going to go in every single box. So go ahead and do that with me. 62 for Lou. Kelly is going to have four groups of 62. And Tiffany is going to have six groups of 62. Now let's go ahead 
And you can check to see if this makes sense by multiplying 62 times 11. We have 11 groups. And if you multiply 62 times 11 and get 682, you're on the right track. Now let's see what the question's asking. How many songs does only Kelly have? She's the only one we're worried about. And you know what to do to figure that out. I want you to go ahead and write your answer by figuring it out. How many does Kelly have? And then let's pause and check and see if we have the same answer. Go ahead and press pause. All right. Did you say Kelly had 248 songs? Because 62 times 4 is 248. Okay, go ahead and turn your paper over to the back side now. Let's take a look at your two homework questions. I want you to work it out carefully, showing your models of drawing a diagram to figure out these answers to these two questions. If you need to remember how to do it, you can go back and look at questions one through four that we did together. Please don't forget to rate yourself as level one for novice if you don't really understand this. Two for apprentice, you think you understand this, but you need me to walk you through it for coaching. Three for practitioner, you really understand this, but you're not ready to teach it. Or four expert, you understand this so well, you can teach it to someone else. Again, here are your two questions. Please take your time, work them out, and also do questions three through six. We'll check these six questions together in class tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye-bye.